Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie, and today I'm going to do a flip through of my April setup. I'm sharing some changes, and it's not completely finished, but a lot of fun things that I wanted to share with you guys. So, we'll start with the cover. The cover is from Tula 12. I am a brand ambassador with them, so if you want to check out a cover or any of the products that I mentioned in the video, there will be a link down below. This is their, they call it a medium. It is a B6 size. So we have this beautiful brushed, looks like acrylic paint. Um, when they take the palette knife and just like put it on the canvas, I love the colors. And then it has, this almost has like a, like a real soft, not like a suede, but almost like a suede feel to it. And then we have our silver logo here. And then this is what the back looks like. Love it. If you watched any of my videos before, you know that I like to keep some sort of little um, magnetic clip or... I used to make, uh, I have a felt thing that I use with the Coco Daisy little buttons, the magnetic buttons. Um, I don't have a clip, I forgot to order it, really, that matches this planner, but Tula 12, they do have these clips that um, are available on the website, and I did order one, but I just didn't have one at the time. So I just used an Ollie clip that I had like in a neutral color, and I just grab it and use it to pull this string. It just helps me get a hold of that string better. Um, my nails need done. I'm going to do that after this video, but I do them myself. And the reason I do them myself is because um, since I've had cancer for some reason, this first fingernail just splits and cracks and pills no matter what I do to it. So I just do them myself. And using that, it kind of helps me from having to use that to grab because it's very very delicate that that fingernail is so that's what I use all right so getting inside I have nothing in my pocket usually I have something over here but there's kind of a reason for that and I'll get into that in just a minute so if you notice the inside has that same blue that is on the spine and then, again, our silver logo. And the first book that I have in here is my finances and a tracker. So, sorry for the glare there. Here, let me... There we go. So, this adorable little mouse. I just love her. She is the sweetest. She is from our A Vintage Vibe deco set. This you can use to make cards. I'm going to use it to use um, for dashboards or in some cards since I am a card maker. But it has a lot of little pieces of deco. I should stick some of that deco in my pocket. I didn't even think of that. But it comes with white card base to make cards. And then there's a bunch of pattern paper in here. And I've showed this in a different video. So I cut her out and used her in my Chic Sparrow. This is a clear plastic um, that wraps around your insert. It's very thick and it has these little slip-in areas. And I just always cut out paper and slip it in there and change it out for the month, but I put her in there because she's so sweet. So these are just some sticky notes from, I think, Simply Gilded from quite a while ago. And this is a printable by Annie Plans Printables, as well as this, I think. This, I, this is kind of like a um, DIY. Again, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I like to DIY stuff. So... This is um, parts of one printable mixed in with parts of another printable. I just wanted 
somewhere to write down purchases. So I just printed some of these note pages. Look how pretty the floral is. Um, and then I just used my label maker and put purchases on there just to kind of have a, a list of purchases that I've made. This is just a removable sticky tab that again, I've used my label maker and made a little um, label for it. So this is what a blank layout looks like. I put in my paydays down here. I do um, some tracking and then over here I do my bills. So, oh, here we go. Look, I love this bookmark. I love Alice in Wonderland, so. So this um, is, I just draw in lines and put, if it's something that's auto paid, the amount when it's due, what the name is, and then I just mark if it's paid over here. And then down here is um, those things that I track. I may add one um, to this, and now I forgot what it was because I should have wrote it down. Uh, and then, Here's where I just use uh, stickers to mark my paydays. So this is kind of my finance area. This washi tape is from the Coco Daisy kit. I love the colors in this. I wasn't much of a fan of the kit this month because I'm not, my least favorite colors are green and yellow and brown and orange. <laughs> so. So I kind of stay away from those, but when it's mixed in with this really pretty blue and it's this light green, it's not so prominent. I really thought this was pretty, so I did keep that. All right, so that is just what this whole book is. It's all like all 12 months, and then at the end, um, I have all my paydays marked, and then I have more notes pages for purchases for the year. Hopefully I don't fill that up. I got this when I ordered something like off a or purchased something from a buy sell trade group and this was in there and it's hilarious and I love it so I can't tell you where that's even from but and then this is a also a plastic wrap around but this one is from Tula 12 so this one's kind of unique in that it has a it's front loads from the top and again, you can cut any piece of paper, make a cute little di like a divider page and put that in there. Um, so this happens to be from Digitals by Row. I love the little bunny, how adorable. You'll see like, I have like a critter theme going on this month. So um, I printed that out. This was the B6 size and I just trimmed it down to fit inside my little um, slide in there. And then on the other side, I just have some die cuts. I believe this is from Planner Monkey Co. Maybe. Uh, this is from Ugly Leather Journals. And then this is from Planner Shit. You'll, I have a link for both of these shops um, down below. My insert is from, so there's two little pockets here. So if you can't really see, there's two little pockets that, um, and I just have this on the back of the, paper that's slid down in there. So this is my monthly insert. This is from Tula 12. When you order our inserts, you can choose the cover. So I just picked the cover that happens to match the um, Traveler's Notebook cover that I'm using. And inside I have printed a holiday because there wasn't one and I just adhered that down in the front. I have a cute little card from um, the Coco Daisy kit. And then these tabs are from Rose Colored Days, but they're like really, really old. So she may still offer something like this. I have no clue because they, I mean, like they're from like 2018 or something like that. I forgot. 2018 or 19. So this is what my monthly looks like. This is March. I just use, this is like a happy planner sticker. Um, these cute little cupcakes are from um, Mad Hatter Sticker Co. And I just use these to mark birthdays. I think this is from Happy Planner Book. And this, 
I am loving this. So, otherwise, this is like a blank, just a, it's boring, right? So, um, Mad Hatter Sticker Co. makes these, they're called brush strokes. And actually, let me grab them. Okay, I pulled everything but those. So I keep all of my Mad Hatter um, Sticker Co. stickers in this binder from Print Prussian. And I use the sticker sleeves. So I have stickers everywhere. All the little small ones I was keeping in this pouch, but I moved them to their own. So she has scripts and I hate my handwriting, so I use those a lot. But she has these. Let me get some that are out of here brush strokes and she has them in all kinds of different colors and they are amazing I love them they're like a matte feel so I haven't tried to write on them um, but I could and let you know how that goes probably with just like any pen that works on like this probably would be a good pen to to use this is the mark on by Sarasa that would probably work I will test it though um, anyway I use these for a lot of different things I've started using them just to throw just a little pop of color on the month so I did that for April as well just a nice little pop of color and then I use them on the yearly overview this is like a little gray up here and then I just did different colors for the months. It just makes it so happy. I need to go in and mark my paydays, but I haven't decided what stickers or little dots I want to use to do that. So that's what, this is April. So these little stickers here are from April's Sterling Ink uh, kit, which I did sign up for the May kit. And I've, I've already canceled it. Well, I won't get um, June. So this is from, I just purchased some of the um, leftover pieces of the April kit. I didn't pay attention and I got the mat. Like I wanted clear mat. So that's okay. I just hate when the white around a sticker doesn't exactly match your white of your paper. So very beautiful. Um, I just, I, I'm kind of overfilling, like I have to use what's being sent to me. Hopefully that makes sense. Like I, I don't necessarily, on if I was doing a normal setup or a normal um, week, I wouldn't want all of this. But I feel like I have to use all of this because I have it because I bought it but some of it's just not for me I just like this I have no idea where I would use it I can find a place for it after I think about it but I mean I guess I just want the freedom of just digging into what I have searching for you know knowing what I want and searching through my stuff to see what will work for that like this these I knew I just didn't like I can't for the life of me just use one of these Tombow pens and do the little brush mark thing and make it look pretty. This takes its no fuss. I find the color I want, done. I put it on there. So Sterling Ink, um, this is what you'll see some more of that in the back in my um, Sterling Ink notebook. So I have um, this. This is from Salty Katie, and it's just a jelly. It has a pocket in the pen loop, just a little insert type of thing. And then I have printed out this is from Plan with B, and then on the back, I think this is from the planner spot. So I just printed this on one side and then sent it through with this on the other side because I wanted this to be decorative. And then I use my color dot. 
So there's that. And then this cute little bunny is from plannershit.com that I'll have a link for. And then there's, I didn't have an Easter sticker, so I just used the little Easter, or the April cupcake from Mad Hatter Sticker Co. And I forget where these are from, but I did order some from Mad Hatter Sticker Co. Um, for my next month. So here's those little cupcakes. And I haven't decided what color I want to do for, for May. So there's that. And then I just keep, on the back side, this is like a zipper pocket and I just keep some extra stickers in there and address labels and then this is from the Coco Daisy kit and I just cut it down. It came in the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit so it was like standard size and I just cut it down to fit in here and it just kind of hides the stickers makes it look nice. This is a folder. I just keep a bunch of sticky notes and receipts and stickers in there. This and it's Alice in Wonderland. Um, this is from Digital Spyro, another critter. I just thought that was cute. And this is in a um, Chic Sparrow divider or, you know, insert, wraps around your insert. And these are from Mad Hatter Sticker Co., just some um, die cuts. I like Alice in, or Alice in Wonderland. I like Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, there's more Alice in Wonderland. And then I... I watch a lot of true crime and listen to a true crime podcast. This is a printable by Annie Plans Printables. And I can't remember. I think this is from Etsy, but I don't remember where. This is what I was just using until I got into April. And then I forget where this is. I bought this on Etsy too and just printed it out myself. So this is a... B6 size white edged notebook from Sterling Ink and I just have it slipped inside the back long pocket of my um, cover here. It fits wonderfully. I did use some fabric tape and just reinforce the back um, because I'd seen some people having issues and I just wanted to go ahead and protect that and then I can still use these if I want to. But this is just the plain grid notebook, and this is what I'm going to use for my weekly. I don't know that I'm going to use this next month for my weekly, but um, I'm going to use it this month. So I don't remember where I got this from. This came in a Wonderland 222 order, and then this is from Coco Daisy. And... This is, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby, this tape. And then this is a double print. So I first printed this plaid pattern from Digitals by Row. And then I put her 2023 dashboard on top of that. Um, I printed out again with this already printed on there. And I actually did this piece twice. So it'd be nice and dark um, and just put that on the front. And then I have another clip from Planner Shit or Charm, I guess you could say. And then I have April. So all of this is um, Sterling Ink. This was the washi strip, but because again, it's not clear matte, I just chose the, the matte version. I'm like, I don't know where I really want to put that. So I just used it to do the vellum as a tip in. And it is beautiful. I love the Sterling Ink aesthetic. I just, again, I just want to purchase what I want to use at the time versus getting something um, and feeling like I have to use it or just I'm not going to use it and then it's kind of being wasteful. So this is this same pattern of this. I'm just going to take it out of there so you can see it a little better. So this printable by Plan With B, it comes with this printed on one side and then on the other side you're supposed to print this. Well, I thought this kind of tied into all of the florals in this and I wanted something solid because you get the vellum. Um, something solid and I just tipped it in this way to kind of hide 
This is going to be my mood tracker. This is also from Digital Spyro. I'll just link her shop. I don't, I don't have a, a code or anything, but I use a lot of her stuff. So I'll just make sure I link the shop down below. But I'm doing something different this month. I printed this on like a thicker cardstock. And I'm going to use it um, with watercolors. So I have these watercolors from Planner Shit. And they're, um, I kind of have like a clear plastic thing over there. They're beautiful. I love them. So I have those and then I have some more that I just put in. This little plastic case is from Timu. I have a lot of Timu hauls if you want to watch that if you're curious. I also have affiliate codes for them. Um, but it's just a little clear plastic case and I just have put um, my extras in there with my little swatches. I didn't think of this idea until after I already had these so I just use this wrap around that comes on the um, watercolor and then I just do my little swatch on there because it has the name and the number. So I've chose some colors from here and I'm going to use, this is just fabric tape that I have over top of that. I think, oh yeah, I did pull it. This is from 49 and Market. So yeah, fabric tapes couple options and it comes with a little cutter that hooks on the box. Very handy. That's what I used in the back of this notebook too. So then I'll just use one of these aqua pens. This is like, or water pens, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's the really thin pointy tip. And then I will, I wrote this dates with a micron pen that is Copic friendly. So, and it's water like it resists water so it should be um, hold up to have the watercolor put on it and then these are the watercolor I mean I put down there and it didn't go through really I got a little heavy-handed on the purple there but with the water but I think that'll be fun and then I have my currently hidden behind here these stickers are from plannership.com too um, so I'll have that. I liked having a currently in my book. And then that's kind of all tucked in there. Um, hidden by all this beautiful coral. So this is how my weekly is going to be set up. This is from uh, Coco Daisy. And I just use it as a bookmark because it's nice and thin. So I'm going to do um, a split column for two days. At the bottom, I'm going to put what we had for dinner. At the top, I'll put the weather. And in the middle, I'll put to-dos and events. I just like, I feel like I like writing vertically. Um, and I don't need a whole page. So two to a page will be just perfect, I think. This, these dates are, and I love this tape, you guys. I'm going to have to get more. This is from Aura Stell, and I love how just clean the, these are the two colors that I'm using this month, the blue and the pink. I could use green and yellow too, but as I said before, not my faves. So this, I think I got this whole bundle together. Um, so yeah, I like the font. It's nice and clean. It's very thin. It fits right in this grid. And then the stickers that I used are from Sticker Human on Etsy. They're just clear. And I just had this one sample strip of them because I have, I ordered a lot more. So I just thought I would use the, the small clear one. And then this is Deco, Journal Deco from Mad Hatter Sticker Co. So I pulled that too. This is what it looks like. And what I do is, if I don't want this large piece, I will, like, as you've seen, I've cut this in two, and then I ended up cutting this in two, and this in two, to make these thin areas here. Like here, this was just like a little leftover bit. Just to add a little something to the page. So, um, 
this I would like maybe cut these in half and then this way and then you could put it in like a corner and then you get a lot of use out of your big sheet of stickers here and then I'm doing my weekends stacked because I don't do a whole lot on the weekends I don't work on the weekends I use a separate planner for that anyway I don't do a whole lot on the weekends so I don't need a lot of room so I just decided to stack them the one thing I'm not sure to do is this. I put this page in there thinking that I wanted my Monday to be on this side of the book, but I don't know that I'll need all this. We'll see how it goes, I guess. This is from Happy Planner, and I don't remember where this is from. I've had it for a while. It kind of looks like Coco Daisy from a while ago, but mm, I don't know. And then, so I just kind of have it pre-set up till at least the 16th. Um, oh, no, I guess I went further to the 23rd. This, I love this. So these are from Plannership.com. I'm going to use this color. I love this color. Um, these are all sold individually. So if you want just this, you can purchase this. If you want just the deco. This again, I may cut these to, to use. I love this. that I could stamp in here. I like to stamp. Or you could use your label maker and put something in here. Or you can just use a sticker that you have. So this is gorgeous. This is what I'm going to use to... I'll decorate more once I get to this um, point in the month. And then I planned on just doing that for the rest of the month. Or... Well, I was going to use this for as long as it would go, but this planner is, or notebook is nice because it has these little dots up here, like this dot, and then there's a dot down here for you to draw your, and there's a dot here and here to draw your layout if you want, just kind of little guides. And the paper's pretty nice, but I just, and I can't do Tomoe River paper. I just, I don't know, like this whole, this drove me nuts until... Like this. I hate that you can... That's. I just can't stand that you can see through it. It's distracting to me. <laughs> like this is really bad. But I ordered a... Um, actually, I'm going to order a journal. We have hardbound journal books available at Tula 12. And I'm going to order one of those. It will, again, fit in this cover. The paper will be thicker. It won't be grid. It will be lined. But I don't mind that. And I want to kind of test it out and see how the pens work in it. Um, maybe try some stamping. This is stamping. I tried that in the Wonderland 222 and it really like bled through terribly. So, and I like to stamp in here. So, this didn't go through too bad. I used the same ink, a different stamp. Um, but these are like really thin words. So, I don't know if I had something that was a little hardier or more wording if that would cause a problem or not but at this point it's okay I may try it again for like my meals because I have a um, little stamp that says like menu or whatever that I like to use down here so I'll test that out when I get to that point too so yeah that is um, my getting a phone call so um, that is my April setup in my B6. This is what it looks like on top. Oh, did I miss this little butterfly? So I have the little butterfly, the little bunny, which is super cute. If I can get him flipped over there. And then the cute little flower in pink. I love those colors. So if you have any questions about anything that I am using um, or that you've seen in the video today, be sure to put those down in the comments. Otherwise, I tried to share as where things came from as much as I could. Um, I will have links for, of course, Tool of 12, um, Plannership.com, Mad Hatter Sticker Co., The Ugly Leather Journal, and chic sparrow so all of that will be down in the or in the description below so be sure to check those out 
Also, if you want to join the Tula 12 Facebook group, that'll be linked out there below. Um, <clears throat> that'll keep you up to date on all of the upcoming sales and promotions. And I'm going to be doing a separate album on there of like D stash items because you guys, I have, I probably have 150 planners and I really need to get rid of probably half of that. But it's just so time consuming to put all the details and follow all the rules for all these buy sell trade groups. So I have everything from traveler's notebooks to folios to ring planners in a variety of makers and sizes. So um, I'll be adding some of that in a separate album on the uh, Come to the Crafty Side Plans Facebook group. So be sure to join and check that out. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all, uh, all of you and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I am just thrilled that people, you know, watch me share my passion. I love planning and crafting and I like enjoying, um, I like sharing that with you guys. So thanks so much for watching and have a great weekend. Bye guys.